back at it again and um before i hop into this video i do want to say this this is no hate or no shame towards this individual um i don't want to start you know any unnecessary drama right okay i just want to make that clear i i don't have any beef with this individual okay i want to make that completely clear because i'm about to show you guys someone that um i've disagreed with a lot recently <laughs> I'll be honest, okay? I'll be honest. Um, I've only showed you guys him one other time that I've disagreed with him. Because, like, once again, I don't want to start any drama, okay? And I know I know how the internet goes, you know. Ooh, ooh, Rich went at so-and-so. Ooh, they got some beef. Like, no, 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 no. This is no beef. This is just me saying, hey, hey, bro, I disagree with you. I think you're looking at this from the wrong perspective. Now, with that being said, like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And let's dive in. Now, <clears throat> Trump has recently received some criticism because of this. Breaking. Governor Ron DeSantis is furious over President Trump shifting uh, BLM. DeSantis criticized Trump for accepting the praise from BLM Rhode Island leader Mark Fisher. BLM praising Donald Trump and Trump celebrating it makes perfect sense. When BLM was burning down cities and assaulting police officers in cities across this country, Trump did nothing but sit in the White House tweeting law and order. We did it differently in Florida. Here is Trump's statement right here. Spoke with Mark Fisher yesterday, a great guy, very honored to have his and BLM support. I have done more for black people than any other president. Lincoln, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> including 10-year funding for historically black colleges and universities where they had none, opportunity zones, criminal justice reform, and much more. Thank you to Mark. Now, regarding uh, Ron DeSantis' statement here, because, listen, and I told you guys this, I, I've had to ask myself questions about Trump, right? I've had to ask myself questions. And in this situation, when it, when it comes to this, hindsight is always 2020. But in the moment... If I'm in Donald Trump's shoes, and I think a, if a lot of us were in Donald Trump's shoes, we would have done the same thing. The entire, it seemed like the entire government was against Donald Trump, right? Against him. And I think he understood that if I do this, it's guaranteed that I'm going to lose re-election. It's guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's all they're going to play on. The, it's, it's a catch-22. You lose and you lose. It's a it's a lose lose type of situation with that. So of course Ron DeSantis can go out there and say, oh well, we 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 law and order. You know that's all he was tweeting, law and order. Yeah, Ron DeSantis, it's it's easy to say that in hindsight. Would you have actually said that in the moment if you were the president though? If you were faced with the same situation and circumstances that Trump was, under the same scrutiny, highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. So that's first thing. But uh, we got to talk about Matt Walsh today, and um, I'm going to play this clip for you. And uh, yeah, let, 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 let me hear your thoughts and your opinions. Okay, so, uh, so that's basically the story that Trump is thanking uh, BLM, but BLM didn't really endorse him or support him. And um, in fact, Newsweek uh, reached out to BLM Rhode Island and asked about this, and they said that, that Mark Fisher is no longer affiliated with them, that he's been terminated. So, uh, so BLM, the BLM group is saying, we have not endorsed Trump. And, you know, that, that has been the defense by Trump fans of this statement by Trump. They're saying, well, BLM doesn't actually support Trump, so this is a non-issue. Okay, except that Trump is claiming that BLM does. He, he's thanking BLM for their support, which whether they gave their support or not, that's not the point. The point is that he's thanking them, which legitimizes them. There's just no circumstance, there's no situation where it could ever be okay to thank BLM for anything. It's like thanking Planned Parenthood or NAMBLA. Okay, that's what it's like. Not even close. And Obviously, it goes without saying that if, if, if Ron DeSantis, if Ron DeSantis ever thanked BLM for anything, um, Trump fans would never stop talking about it. I mean, they would never, ever, ever let DeSantis live that down. 
nor should they. Because it's insane. It's an insane thing to do. I disagree. You do not legitimize Marxist terrorist organizations like BLM. And, uh, and if you're an honest person and a Republican thanks BLM, you'll start to ask yourself questions about what this person really stands for. Okay, so to address that, he said Donald Trump shouldn't thank them because he's legitimizing them. So when a BLM um, leader or a former leader, right, says, you know what? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have stood against Trump, but I support him now. Trump is just supposed to turn that down. Trump is just supposed to give him the middle finger and say, go kick rocks. What sense does that make? What sense does that make? Trump is supposed to continue the animosity when we're trying to save a country. As uh, Larry Elder coined, we have a country to save. But Trump is supposed to put his feelings above saving the country? Make that make sense. See, th this this is the type of rhetoric and, and, and talking points that, that I'm talking about when I say Republicans just, they, they just don't make sense. They don't make sense. Like, it, it, it's, it's not even... It honestly frustrates me because I'm new to politics, right? And I, I listen, I, I admit that. I've said that time and time again. I don't want to act like I, I'm, I'm like the know-it-all, okay? But I am going to give my opinion, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. That's what y'all are here for, to hear my opinion at the end of the day. Um, so, like, it makes sense. Like, when I'm sitting back, I'm like, dang, it actually makes sense why we're losing. Because some of these folks, <laughs> it's, it's laughable. Trump is supposed to turn down support when people are like, yeah, I made a mistake. I support you now. Basically, Matt Walsh is saying, no, um, you're supposed to give them the middle finger. Kick rocks. Like, I, 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 I don't I don't understand the thought process behind that. That that makes this much sense to me. Zero. Zero. We got a country to save, but yeah, you're supposed to just turn down those folks because they were terrible people before. What? Yeah, he might have made a mistake thinking that he still, you know, uh, is involved with BLM or whatever. So what? So what? Like, Trump is basically the only Republican that I have seen that can garner support from people of color. That is the truth. That is the truth. When, 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 you, when you go on social media, and once again, I always go to the comments. I go straight to the comments. Whenever you go on social media, and I, and I encourage all of you to do this, right? Go on left-wing big social media pages. And when they post about something political, read through the comments. And you tell me when there's something about Ron DeSantis, read through the comments and you tell me what the people of color are saying about Ron DeSantis. I'll tell you what they're saying. That is racist. They could never be president. They would never support him. They would never vote for him. Absolutely not. This is a terrible guy. But you know what they say about Trump? Now, some of the comments are the same as those, but you got, you also have comments that say Trump 24, bring Trump back, free my N-word Trump, hey, bring Trump back, hey, we want Trump. You don't see that with Ron DeSantis though. Why is that? Why is that? Because Trump knows in order to win, right, you can't alienate people. Just because somebody made a mistake in the past doesn't mean you dangle it over their head now. That makes zero sense. Oh, well, you were an idiot in the future, in the past. So I'm going to hold it over your head in the future now. Guess what sense? I'm going to play a clip from um, Chicago of uh, some individuals who said some surprising things. And according to Matt Walsh, Trump is supposed to say, um, skip you, middle finger, kick rocks to these folks. Check it out. Mothers and fathers of today, these are our children and they will not be targeted while you take and make a better life for a new group that just walked into this country. Right. Yesterday, $9,000 a month for these people. You know how hard it is? A thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for every child, every illegal immigrant child that goes into public, Chicago public schools. You give them money for uniforms and computers and all these things. We're not going to stand down, and we ask that the Republican Party come and sit down and have a meet with us. Yeah. yeah. Come have a meet with us. Absolutely. We all are against fast immigration. Let's have a meet. 
Let's have a meet with the Republican Party. Yeah. If Trump want to come to town, come and meet with us. Trump 2024. Come have a meet with us, Trump. Trump 2024. We are not. Did you hear that comment in the background? Did you hear it? Trump 24. He said if Trump wants to come, he didn't say if Ron DeSantis. This this whole and this, this is my thing. <laughs> this is my thing with like these big right wing political you know content creators. It's funny. It's interesting that a lot of them support Ron DeSantis. Have you guys noticed that? Have you guys noticed that? Like the biggest creators, they all support Ron DeSantis. I just find that interesting. I listen. I, I have no clue whether or not they're on Ron DeSantis's payroll or whatever, but it's just interesting that they all kind of agree on Ron DeSantis. It's just interesting. I I have no evidence to back up that they're on Ron DeSantis's payroll. I have no clue. I, I've never even spoken to these guys. Never. Not a day in my life. Okay. I've only spoken to like a couple different people. I, I haven't really spoken to anyone really in the political realm. Uh. But, I don't know, do y'all find that interesting? Because I do, I do, I do. And whenever you see these clips of, you know, people of color saying, you know, things about Republicans in, in support of Republicans, they never speak of Ron DeSantis. Never, ever. You show me the clip. I'll, listen, I'll do you one better. One of y'all send me the clip, multiple clips, of black people or my Latino brothers and sisters supporting Ron DeSantis. Tell me. I can show you a lot of clips of them supporting, uh, 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 you know, Trump. Damn. If Trump want to come to town, come and meet with us. Trump 2024. Come have a meet with us, Trump. Trump 2024. Yes, we are not going to stand by, stand idly by while you starve by our community. Starve by Let me say this again. You and our community, our, our, us as a people, period. So according to Matt Walsh, uh, Trump's supposed to just turn them down, tell them to kick rocks, get to stepping. I disagree with that. I heavily disagree with that. I, 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 I have a huge problem with that kind of statement. I think you, you, um, you appreciate that support. You coddle that support. You go and speak with people who are now saying, actually, I do support you. And honestly, truthfully, this actually recently happened to me. It was about a month ago, probably at this point. But one of you commented, I don't remember your name. If you feel like revealing yourself, comment below. If you're still watching, comment below, okay? But an individual commented on one of my previous videos. This was probably about a month ago. And they said something along the lines of, you know what, Rich? I hated you before. I didn't appreciate your comments, you know, blah, 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 you know, the whole nine. But now I get it. Now I get it. I appreciate you. Some, something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember exactly how, it, you know, everything was worded, but they basically didn't like me before. Didn't, didn't like what I had to say, okay, about politics and whatnot. But now they've come back and realized the error in their ways and said, you know what? Actually, I appreciate you. You're right. So according to Matt Walsh's logic, I'm supposed to get that person the middle finger. I'm supposed to say, ah, don't need your support. Don't need you to subscribe. Forget about you. What? First off, just as a human being in general, why? Like in what world does that make sense? So a person says, I was wrong. You were right. I apologize. I'm just supposed to hmm, kick rocks. In what world? Just, just as a human. Okay. I don't remember what I commented. I'm, I'm sure I probably liked it. And I think I said something along the lines of, you know, um, welcome to the good side or something, something like that. I don't remember exactly what I commented too long ago. <laughs> and I replied to so many comments, but, um, Hey, shout out to that individual. Okay. Shout out to that individual. But like you, 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 you're supposed to appreciate stuff like that. Not Oh, well, you know, it's BLM and they, they ride it and burn. I don't, I don't care if the, if the person, you know, that commented that was burning down buildings, was, was looting houses or whatever before that was before. If they saw, if they've seen the error within their ways and now they appreciate, uh, you know, our stance and where we're coming from. Hey, I love you, brother. I love you, sister. Welcome. Welcome. 
into uh, these individuals that we just saw in this clip. Come on over to the Republican side. We'll support you over here. Okay? We support you over here. Now, we can all say, you know, we told you so, but that's that's not what we're here to do. You, you've seen the error within your ways. And um, actually, I want to play this other clip as well. Um, crap, I lost my spot in it. I need to try to find. Here's another clip that you guys might find it interesting as well. This morning, I heard Mayor Brandon Johnson say that the sentiment in the black community is waning a lot. The independent candidate in the city of Chicago. I give him my money. But I want you to know two things. Number one, I'm not a fan. I have biased remorse. Number two, for any independent candidate in the city of Chicago, any Green Party candidate in the city of Chicago, and any Republican candidate in the city of Chicago, now is your time because we are done with the Democratic hey, Party. Right, Brandon right, Johnson, done, Governor Prisoner, done, and President done, Biden done, has showed done, us done. what they think about the black community all over this country. And so we're standing here today to say, okay, if that's what it is, we win it. We don't have to support the Democratic Party. Right, right. Yes, we don't have to continue to sort, support people who are not going to support us. Yes, and the Democratic Party here in this city, in this state, and in this country is not supporting us. You got the Republicans on one side and the Democrats on the other side. Yes, ma'am. We just supposed to turn that down? We supposed to kick them away because they didn't support Republicans before? That just makes no sense. That just makes no sense. And you know... It, it, it also goes back to when he made the statement on Trump um, on the whole abortion issue, right? Because if you guys remember, uh, Matt Walsh was one of the individuals that, you know, was going after Trump because he didn't uh, stand firm on the abortion issue. And I'm like, wait, what? These these folks, that, like, it, I, I, it's, it's for all of my basketball players. It's like some of these folks, you ever seen somebody on a fast break on a basketball court and they blow a layup? <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about some of these folks. Like, bro, it is a layup for 2024. It's a layup. It's a layup and y'all bricking the layup. You are trying your hardest to brick the layup, to brick it. Okay. Or for anybody who doesn't, you know, know about basketball, it's like being in a track race, right? Everybody can understand being in a race. Okay, two people are racing, a few people are racing. You know, the guy, the guy in front, you know, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. He's celebrating. He trips and falls. Why are you celebrating? Run through the finish line. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and then of course he loses. It's just like, oh man. I I just don't, I just don't get it. Hey. Shout, shout, shout out to Matt Walsh. Like, like I said before, this, this is no hate. This is just, listen, brother, you're thinking about this all completely wrong. All completely wrong. This is a game of chess, not checkers. Trump wants the support of everybody, as he should. BLM or non-BLM, it should not matter. I don't care what they did five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, two years ago. If they say, hey, I figured out the error in my ways. I support the Republican Party and Donald Trump now. I apologize. Hell, they ain't even got to apologize. Hey, I support the Republican Party now. I've seen the error within my ways. We should rally behind that. We should be celebrating. We, 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 should, be, we, we should be spreading up and down the streets like, yo, we got the, bro, the game is just right here. All, all we got to do is lay the ball up. Just, just lay it up. Lay it up. Lay it up. You know? I'm, I know most of y'all have watched basketball before. You know, a layup, look, 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 psh, right at the rim. Easy. It's easy. Easy. And people want to shoot from 40 feet like Steph Curry instead. Oh, no, no, no. We ain't taking a layup. We're going to shoot from 40 feet, half, co half court like Steph Curry. You're not Steph. Take the layup. <laughs> I, just don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I am I tweaking, y'all? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm the one that's tripping. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. I, I I just can't I just can't get behind like not Trump is doing the right thing. 
Trump is doing the right thing by garnering everybody's support. And uh, I highly encourage Trump to go to Chicago to uh, speak with these folks as they requested. Highly encourage Trump to go. I'm sure he will probably get in contact with them and speak with them, which is the smart thing to do. Hey, people are crying for help. Go help them. Let them know you support them. Let them know that you will support them. Like, why is that a bad thing? I'm trying to win. Okay. I'm trying to win. And Trump is doing everything that he can to win. As he should. As he should. And he's right. He's done a lot for black people. Biden is um, taking the black community in the wrong direction. In the absolute wrong direction. And I'm not saying Trump has to only do stuff for black people. Right? He should do stuff for everybody. Okay? I mean, that's clear. Right? But... <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.